Hello everybody, this is Michael, and today I'm going to be bringing you a mob battle in Minecraft. So, uh, I don't know what channel I'm going to upload this on. It might be like a new channel of mine, or it might be my brother's channel. And in that case, well then, uh, we'll be, still be the first of this series. I'm going to be doing some mob battles uh, between some mobs of the or spawn mod. It's a... because everything fights each other in this mod, so it's a very good mod, a mod for boss battles. So anyway, um, our main boss here is going to be the Emperor Scorpion. It's going to be fighting five other mobs. We have the Basilisk, the Nasty Saurus, the Hercules Beetle, I can get it, uh, the Cephadrome, and the Hammerhead. All very, very strong mobs. Um, so anyway, let's uh, just get right into it here. And this is the first time I'm using uh, this recording software, so I'm going to see how it works. And if you guys have any feedback, please let me know. And, um, this arena is popular MMO's arena. It's a just a very well done arena, and uh, I had to wall it off though because these war small mobs they knock each other back far. So I gotta keep them in an enclosed space so they can keep fighting because I kept knocking them out of the right out of range when I, I was uh, testing us. So uh, let, yeah, let's just get right into it. So the Emperor Scorpion here, 350 health, very tough can kill you in one shot if you're not wearing any armor, and then kill you in just like two or three if you're wearing full diamond. So yeah, very tough, high defense, high health. And uh, let's get right into it. Basilisk. 100 health. And see the... I might have not made this big enough. The Basilisk got stuck. What is it doing? Can you like get in range? Okay, let's do it again. Can I get rid of these? Maybe. No, it should be. Right. Oh, there we go. Even this small, tiny, this tiny enclosure is not enough. But the Emperor Scorpion can't move. The Basilisk conflicts in extreme slowness. Alright. So they're just gonna keep knocking each other into quarters. The Basilisk is gonna be attracted by these small scorpions. Okay, so we finally got some fighting. Emperor Scorpion down 15. The Basilisk has 126 health left. We can knock it back in further. There we go. Kills off the Scorpions really easily, but the Emperor Scorpion barely taking any damage. Down to 326. And it regenerates fast, too. I mean, the Basilisk has regeneration as well, but it's not good enough. Not even close. It's under half health. And, uh, yeah. And as you can see here, Scorpion does 14 damage against it. Basilisk only does 5 damage to the Emperor Scorpion. It's pretty crazy. And the Basilisk, it's tough. And if it takes 7 hearts of damage, when it has this high defense, you know the Emperor Scorpion's tough. All our spawn mobs are just insane. An unbalanced mob, but it's fun. And there is a level to progression to it. And the Basilisk is dead already. And first Scorpion got taken down to about 325. Alright, um, let's peaceful it so we can uh, get rid of them. Let me fix this up. So, the next mob we have is the Nasty Saurus. Oh, I forgot to switch it. So, the Nasty Saurus is 200 health. And so, that's the same amount as the Basilisk, actually. This is one of the newer Orswell mobs, even though it was added. Five years ago, but it's not like one of the first generations of War Spawn mobs. So, uh, let's try this fight. They're both going at each other. 178. That's the source takes a lot of damage, but it's also doing some damage to the Scorpion, too. Probably because the fight's not stagnating and, and he's not letting the Emperor Scorpion regenerate because the Emperor Scorpion couldn't move. Basilisk had to be initiating the fight, but now they're both going at him. Emperor Scorpion's down to 317. Nasty Sword is dead already, but it did a lot more damage. 305 this time. And not a lot of scorpions. So, the Basilisk, its downfall was supposed to be its like main ability, which is basically turning you into a stack to a petrifying you. Or paralyzing you, that's a better word. Anyway, our uh, next opponent is the Hercules Beetle. Hercules Beetle, 250 health. So it's got a higher health than the Basilisk or the Nasty, Sto Nasty Saurus. 
and I believe it knocks up knocks mobs up to, up high in the air. Well, let's see how it does against the first scorpion. So yeah, it has some like uh up like knocks them up a little. Six damage onto the scorpion, eight onto the beetle, so it's definitely more evenly matched. But the emperor scorpion's still doing a lot better than the, Her the Hercules beetle. Up oh, there we go, it just knocked it way up high. Oh, we got the Emperor Scorpion below 300 finally. Hercules Beetle though is at half health. Oh, just got knocked up high again. 256, 94 health left for the Beetle. Alright, yep, the Beetle's about to die to the first Scorpion though, nearly at half health. So we finally got one that can actually, you know, put up a good fight against this. And 9 health left, and generate a little bit. 193, just a, but, uh, just a bit over half health for the Emperor Scorpion. So far undefeated, let's see how well it does against the Sepidrum. Now the Sepidrum, 300 health, does a lot of damage. It's actually one of the few friendly hubs uh, in this mod, and one of the stronger friendly creatures as well, to help fight the Kraken, which is basically impossible if you don't have this. Or if you have like a Morph from the Morph mod, it allows you to uh, avoid fall damage. But yeah, Zephyro basically it helps you destroy the Kraken. Very tough, because you gotta be tough to destroy the Kraken. So anyway, let's uh, have this fight begin. Immediately, both sides knock each other back. Scorpion's taking more damage than the Scepter. Actually, it's about even. Looking at the damage indicator, it's, uh... Oh, it knocked it out of the wall. What the heck? That's not supposed to happen. Well, um... Also, yeah, my brother and my mom are arguing in the background, so, uh... Sorry about that. Up oh, there we go. Let it through, and they're not each other through. There we go. The Scepter can get through, but not the Scorpion. And I'll fix the hole in a little bit. Um... So the Emperor Scorpion's lost 100 so far, and the Sepidrome has not, but it's about to be across that threshold. And the, see, this is why I had the uh, enclosure in the first place, so they didn't keep uh, knocking each other across the arena. But luckily, these two can actually move. Because I tried this with the Basilisk for testing purposes, and I had to build the wall, the arena enclosure because if not, the Vasilix would just slow the Emperor Scorpion and then it would just run away. Alright, anyway, Emperor Scorpion looks like it might lose here. Sephiroth 158, not even halfway down. Emperor Scorpion under 100 health left. Sephiroth, you know, yep, half, halfway down, 68 health left for the Scorpion. And, oh, he's just going left and right killing all those baby Scorpions. Oh, the Emperor Scorpion's about to die, 4 health left. And the Emperor Scorpion's finally been toppled by the Cephedrum. 119 is regenerating some, so we finally found a match for the Emperor Scorpion. It was the Cephedrum. Alright, and we got the final boss left, the Hammerhead, which is very, very tough. Probably the toughest boss outside of Mobzilla. Really, or any of those huge bosses. That's the toughest medium sized boss, I'd say. So, uh, let's get started. The Hammerhead, I think, knocks the enemies more up than the Hercules Beetle does. So, anyway, the Hammerhead, huge, huge. 240 health. And it's just just a behemoth. So, uh, let's see how well it does against the Emperor Scorpion. It knocks it very high up in the air. 15 damage per hit. Only 7 taken by the Hammerhead. Oh no, stay in, stay out, but decides to do that, wow. You're really gonna be like that, aren't you? Um, let's see if I can get a hole through here. There we go. And they're knocking each other all around. Emperor Scorpion, out 100. Hammerhead, about 60 health taken, or 60 damage taken. Yeah, knocks it very high. It's a uh, not as 
not as lopsided as I thought it would be. It's less lopsided than the Sepidrome fight, it looks like. But actually, maybe... No, I retract that statement. Emperor Scorpion's getting owned again. But it's still quite a good fight. Um, Emperor Scorpion, 10388 health now. Hammerhead's 96, actually. This this might be closer than I thought. I don't know. It's a very unpredictable battle. So closer than the Sepidrome, it looks like. And, um, you know, 64 health for the Hammerhead. And the Emperor Scorpion's dead, so 64 health. Hammerhead is the Victor here. And, uh... I don't like the death noise. So, I think I'm going to have a, a, a finale to this. So we'll do it between the Hammerheads and the Emperor Scorpion since it was very close. So we'll just change up the numbers a little bit. So I'm thinking... I don't know. How about 9 Emperor Scorpion... No, 10 Emperor Scorpions to 8 hammer, Hammerheads. That seems... A, Pretty good. So, if I remember to go back to normal, so 10 Ember Scorpions 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then 8 Hammerheads. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, and let the battle begin. So, very laggy. Plus, the small scorpions are going to keep spawning, so... Yeah, a lot of hammerheads bunched up over here. Scorpions are pretty much dispersed. We got four of them, four scorpions taken out on one hammerhead. Actually, no, they joined forces, take down two at a time. But yeah, the hammerheads are very pronounced over here. Mostly taken one-on-ones. And a lot of scorpions are just ganging up on uh, individual hammerheads. The ripped hammerheads. This one's almost down. And that one's dead. And this is still just like a huge mess of mobs right here. Alright, um, yeah, I can't really tell what's going on here. Too laggy. <laughs> uh, my computer wasn't built for this. You know, actually, the Hammerheads might lose here. So it looks like the Emperor Scorpions, when they're, uh, in good numbers, they can carry out anything. One hammerhead left, it looks like. Wow. First, the Emperor Scorpions were almost dead, though. They were taken down very close. 113, 174, that one did good. This one, not so good. So, uh, I guess the Emperor Scorpions, they have a slight edge in numbers over their opponent. They'll win, but it'll cost a lot of health. As you can see, most of them finish with, like, less than 100 health, and there's a couple that finished with more, but, uh, that's, 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 uh, it was nice. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and let me know what else you'd want to see coming up. I can do, uh, an or spawn survival. I can do Advent of Ascension. I can do more mob battles. So, just let me know what you'd like to see. Give me any feedback you might have, and have a good day, everyone. This is Michael signing out.